Biden mad at Joe Biden? Should he be doing something more than he's doing now? Uh, Joe Biden should, should, should stop sending uh, military aid to Israel mm -hmm. since they won't agree with the ceasefire. Mm -hmm. So everybody should be mad uh, because here we are with, with, with so much from the, the opioid crisis to fentanyl to, to gun violence to uh, teenage pregnancy to uh, uh, I mean, even hunger in this country to send so much aid and resources to two different countries in, 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 in so many packages. Uh, I mean, that's a, that's a slap in the face to America. Hmm. Well, I mean, and not to take away from the aid that's needed over there. I mean, there, there's the, the conflict is a lot to watch. Man, on the Jews media. are some of the most richest people in the world. How much aid do they need? They military and the things that they have is 20 times way more uh, advanced. advanced but, but what I was going to say was it's not that they don't deserve it, because I think our place in being a humanitarian to the world is important. But Congo, like there's a whole slaughter, there's a whole world of people in Congo being killed that look like us that aren't being talked about on the news. And we're not sending aid that I know of. Uh, Chicago. Yeah. Chicago just had a, a horrible weekend. Uh, Philadelphia is having warlike murders, men amongst the kids. So uh, your thought is take care of home first. With yeah, it, with man, all our Memphis, resources. Memphis just had a big shootout two weeks ago where people, man, we got that shit here up mm -hmm. amongst the niggas, but it's the niggas though. It's the it ain't the blacks and the it's the ignorant niggas, the the gangster niggas kids, the poor nigga babies, the woman, yeah. So it's it's easy to send aid over there and ignore aid that you can give here locally. So do you think that's the frustration that younger people or people now in America have with Joe Biden because they see him sending the aid there but don't see the uh, change happen in their community the, here? And what they've sent to Ukraine, they could wipe out all of our student loans with no problem. With all the aid they've just sent to Ukraine alone. Mm -hmm. But you got people here still suffering. I mean, you got people here who get denied food stamps because they make, they. $10 over what the requirement says. So there's no aid here for America. Mm -hmm. So how can all this aid be given and we have just as many people dying here, if not from gun violence, from fentanyl overdoses? I mean, what I say about that is, I mean, the politics, man, is so, it's so, I'm going to try to keep it non-political. But what I say, that's that's absolutely true. There are a lot of things here domestically that need to be tended to. I mean, when we go out of our houses, I mean, we can see it. You know, you go to the store, the prices of food. You, like he said, you have so many people. You have probably more people getting food stamps that don't need it. You know, they finagled some paperwork and finagled some numbers so that they could get food stamps to the point where the people that really need it don't get it. You have people that are getting unemployment because they know how to hustle the system. Then you have people that actually, there's people out here that really need that unemployment to survive. And you got people, a dude sitting home playing video games all day or a woman sitting home, you know, doing hair, making a good living, also getting unemployment on top of that. You know what I mean? Living in a surplus, you know what I'm saying? Driving around in a damn track hawk, getting food stamps, you know what I mean? So I think definitely domestically, it needs to be cleaned up. You you know, taking care of home is absolutely even down to the micro of just our personal households. Before we go out and we point in the finger at what everybody else be doing, we need to figure out, you know, make sure everything is on the up and up under our own personal rules. And then we branch out, you know what I mean? That's... Go ahead, Ruth. That just shows you, like they, you, you know how you say you, you, you put your money where your mouth is. So, if they're, if we're looking at what they're doing with the money, as far as what their priority is, the priority is to leave things at status quo. Not only is it they leaving the things the way they are, they're making it worse. They're, they're coming up with different laws to make it harder for the everyday person to continue to like try to survive. Um, in order to kind of um, 
whatever their their plan is to do because they can like you said if they can easily wipe out student loan debt that would mess up the whole thing why would they wipe up wipe wipe out all the debt so now therefore I, it just hit me the other day it's like wait so you mean and I'm like maybe I'm a little slow but so when we get the student loan debt that means we owe them for to life like we have to work these corporate jobs to life got it um and also when we get a mortgage that means um, you know, they, they, they basically own us for that 30 years that we have to go to work. We are put in positions in America to, so we have to go to work. You know, like we didn't, when you said earlier, there's some concepts that we don't get. Like ever since I was little, I went to the supermarket to get food. Come to find out food grows from the ground and it's free. I know we don't like, maybe just me, but it's free. You can take one avocado and you can plant it and you can grow more, right? And That's it's like illegal have... here. Huh? It's illegal to grow your own stuff in certain places in America. I think you can like grow for yourself, but you can't sell it to other people. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, we don't even have the knowledge anymore. Like we really don't, can't put it together. Like we can't even figure out that processed food is not like, like real food. Like we can make our own with the ingredients in the, you know, grocery store. So once we start changing our thinking and we start trying to fend for ourselves, then of course we're not going to need them as much, but they put us in position to need them. So what's popular is to get a house, to get a car, a very expensive car. The marketing is working. And so why would they use their dollars that they got from us and not use it for their own personal political gain? And a lot of times when they're donating, like when they donated to Haiti, it was like billions of dollars and only 10% got to, the government or something like that 90 percent went to the people in the organizations that's when i first thought i was like wait a minute something is not adding up and then it just trickled down from there so they're telling us what they're doing they're hiding it in movies but you just got to really open up your eyes they're never going to try to bail us out like just get that out your head <laughs> never this is uh <laughs> that what you said is uh really good uh, but I'm going to be very honest and truthful, and I'm going to drop a huge bombshell. The reason why they don't use whatever national reserves that we have to pay off any current debt is because we could buy and pay our own debt with our own currency. Because the aim of money is specifically to keep the corrupt but obedient government. Sorry, let me start all again. Because the aim of money is specifically to keep the corrupt and obedient uh, governments in power who favor Western private interests, who cash in the profits while expense will be paid by the local taxpayers. A good part of that is old money. Eventually ends up in private Western pockets. That's really what it is. I wasn't joking when I made the comment earlier that America is a business. This is not a country. It's never been a country. This is a business. You know what I'm saying? In the in this quicker we quickly understand that and buy into that, our entire mindset and our mind frame changes about how we spend our money, where we invest our money, where we elect to purchase you know, buy, relocate, right? Doing things by us, for us, to better us, right? That type of mindset has to be the shift. People need to get away from this idea that country, 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 that is the marketing ploy that they've sold upon you, us, and everybody who comes here. That's not what it is. You know what I'm saying? How is it that they can give so much aid throughout the world, but yet our roads, our bridges, our schools, all these places are dilapidating. They're falling apart. You know what I'm saying? We got bridges here in this state that are practically decayed, and we have corruption scandals because all the money that has been paid to have the roads and bridges paid, the construction company takes about 50% of them, and then they stop the project, and it doesn't get going for another four to five years until there's another surplus of money that's being allocated by the government to continue. So this is a huge game. The problem is, is that everybody else besides us understands the rules 
to the game in the rules of engagement. And sort of we're sitting here thinking, while this isn't fair, why is this happening? And we're operating from this, you know, good standard, good Samaritan standpoint while they're playing a different set of games by a whole different set of rules. That is the reality of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we pay so much taxes on everything. Think about it. Your tax on what you make, your tax on what you spend, your tax on the gas you put in your car, your tax on the road in which you drive, your tax, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The part, your, your tax on tax on tax on tax. Like, where's the money going? Say again? I say, you're like, damn, where's the money going? Overseas. You're wondering where the hell the money is going. You wonder that. You know what I'm saying? If it, one doesn't have an issue paying, it's just that where are the fruits of our labors and where that, does that reflect in our schools? What does that reflect in the job market? Where does that reflect in the, the infrastructure, right? It has to be reflective everywhere. This is the reason why people leave here and travel other places around the world. And they're like, damn, they got state-of-the-art, you know, trolleys that take you from A to B and they only cost you $2. Meanwhile, to get on Amtrak to go from here to New York is going to run me almost $300. Right? And, and, and these are the issues that people tend to see, be like, you know, I, we've been sold a lot. So we'll, go ahead. I was going to say, so is that the reason why people are overlooking what Trump does because they can understand what he does because he because he's coloring within the guidelines in which he would every all of us are trained to color within the lines meanwhile he has found a way to you know not break the law but color outside of the uh, outside of the lines operate within the gray and still get the results in which he yields you know what i'm saying the reason why you know what I'm saying? He made the comment about him paying more taxes by Hillary was because, well, I use the same tax codes that your all your beneficiaries who gave you money use. So if you want to change it, change it. But you're also going to affect your your constituents in your in your base, right? Trying to affect me, as opposed to changing it her, uh, holistically across the board to be more favorable to everybody. To the outside looking in the hood, looking at the hood, it's like National Geographic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love National Geographic sometimes. Just watching the wild. That's how they're looking at the hood. Like, they're amazed by it. You know what I mean? And uh, to your point, JR, as far as I think us as older men, you know, when we talk about how we grew up, the hood, you know, having to have those survival skills because I'm glad that I grew up the where I grew up and how I grew up. I'm, I'm glad. I, you know, if it could have been better, that would have been great. But I'm glad because it did give me those survival skills where I can go worldwide and identify. You know, my spidey senses start going off. You know what I mean? Like, but I think what the older men need to do is make sure that we're not gratifying those things to make them feel like they missed out on something you know what i mean like you know you see older dudes man, they be in their 50s yo like yeah dog we used to sell so much crack you know to make these younger kids feel like oh, damn man maybe we need to sell crack right no like we got to make sure that we're not doing that you know even with women with relationships dog we used to tear some ass up right even with that, nah, let them figure this out themselves, not not make them feel like they missed out, like they're not, like they're less than because they didn't have those same experiences. I think that's the thing, because I do see a lot of older people that kind of live in their heyday. You know what I mean? The damn superstar, the basketball team, you know, who's a complete just dust buster now you know he's living man back in my time you know like uncle rico from napoleon dynamite you know i could throw a football over the mountains nobody wants to hear that stop talking about you know what's going on now you know what i mean how do you be the best version of yourself now so i think you know it's a fine line it's always balanced you have to find that balance to let them know give them those survival skills 
but don't make it seem like they're missed out or they're less than because they didn't have those same experiences. You know, the world is different now. Jay, when you say survival skills, what essentially are you speaking about when you say survival skills? Well, just being able to identify danger. Like, for instance, uh, this was like a few months back. I was going to the gas station. I wanted to put some gas. It was like 930 at night or whatever. And, you know, I seen it was these kids in the pump next to me, younger kids. They was like teenagers, you know, blue flags on. Then I looked to my right and I seen some kids with red flags on, you know, they start talking sign language to each other. I'm like, yep, fuck this gas, cut that car back on. I got the hell up out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's me. Like if I just didn't, if I didn't come from an environment where I was able to identify that, I probably would have been in there pumping gas and then who the hell knows what happened. I didn't hang around. I saw sign language being spoken by two opposing groups and I got the hell out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no superhero. Okay. I, got people, I got people to take care of. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that, Jay, because then we do have the people from the hood. You have the people that have matured past it and the people who haven't. Those are two different people. And you got to recognize it because I came from the hood. I was born in Brooklyn, uh, Flatbush, Crown Heights, Canarsie. That's where I grew up. Crown Heights. Uh, yeah. Gang, so, gang. So I'm from the hood. <laughs> but the thing is, you're not going to see me today and say, oh, she's from the hood. Like, unless I tell you, you're not going to know where I come from. And as a grown adult, you can't use that excuse as I'm from the hood anymore. You're a grown person. Like a lot of us are from the hood, whether you know it or not. It's mm -hmm. about how you present yourself today and who you are today, who you show up as today. The hood is not an excuse anymore. As a child, OK, but we're grown people. I just wanted to add that in there. You just can't know. Open -minded. I already tell them that. It, so what I've learned about working with kids is um, not to say this is a better way to do things, but to say, consider the outcome if you do this. You got to do it with adults, too, not just kids. Yeah, absolutely. Because the adult ego is probably more fragile than the kid's ego. Um, but yeah it's it's more about the approach to it like you if you say if this is a better way to do things or like kids internalize things like even when to balance balancing's point earlier in single parent households when you have one parent talking bad to another child about their parents, please. That don't even happen in single parent household. I forgot I had a conversation yesterday with a married woman whose husband was talking to their child bad about her. You know what I mean? That's that's a that's a thing where it's like they internalize it and now they're like, okay, that's a part of who I am. Maybe I'm inadequate. You trying to tell me something? I'm doing something wrong. So now instead of receiving what should be positive feedback or a, a suggestion to help, it feels like an attack on their character. It makes them feel inadequate. It makes them feel like, you know, they essentially that they're doing something wrong instead of, hey, I see you doing that. Maybe try it this way. Or have you ever considered doing it like that? Or what exactly are you trying to achieve by doing that? Like, just questions for discovery versus giving suggestions sometimes i feel like you said both with adults and kids works better than saying hey this is a better way to do it than what you're doing because then people feel like what makes you think you could tell me that what you're doing is better than what i'm doing you know what i mean so yeah no, i got you uh before anybody else speak let me just go ahead and shift the conversation a little bit we still talk along about the same things but i do have another couple clips i want to play um and I, I, somebody said that the world is soft, and, I, and that's the reason why I can agree with, to a certain extent, it's about having the balance, right? Being able to receive um, criticism and the option of having a better way. Um, I just told my son when I was having a conversation with him yesterday, and he's, he's seven, I told him, look, um, always be a student. Always understand, and when I communicate with you, is that 
I want you to be able to think outside of what I'm telling you because it may be a better way. It may be a better way that you can accomplish something and you can figure that out on your own. But always understand that you're a student. Never just take it, take it in and that's just be the truth for the rest of your life.